How I remarked this course was having a laugh. <laughs> With some of the most technical terrain you will find on a 50k race, 3,300 metres of elevation gain and two ascents of Snowden, this is the UTS 50k by UTMB. Welcome to Film My Run, my name's Stephen. Here we are in Wales, in Snowdonia to be precise. We're here to run the 50K of the UTMB World Series event. This is the only event in the UK which is a World Series event for UTMB where you can earn running stones. There's the 165 which was cancelled earlier on for bad weather. There's a 100K which went off at four o'clock this morning in torrential rain. It has cleared up for the 50K. We're gonna have a lovely time. So we'll see you out on the course. What's your name? Dan. Dan, where do you live, Dan? Dan, East Sussex, right, bro. And why, you, why have you come up to this today? Uh, well, we were on the 165 yesterday. We got stopped oh, in the night. Crikey, uh, what is it? So yeah, come for another, another go today. Well, good for you for getting up again. And how far did you get yesterday? 40K? Uh, a bit further, I think 50, 50 55 yeah. k yeah. It was pretty horrendous, wasn't it? It did get pretty rough, yeah. <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> it's it's well. a cool day. Yes. Hi buddy. Hi. What's your name? Louis. Louis, from where? Hong Kong. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Right, every single UTMB race in the world suffers from this because there are so many runners. You get to about 2k in, nobody has spread out. You get to a tiny little fence or a gate post or something and everybody's queued back for miles. But that's just UTMB for you. I'm sure this is a harder effort than it should be. <laughs> So we've climbed about 400 metres now in the UTS 50k. We've travelled nearly six kilometres in about an hour. So we're doing all right. Vic's doing well, but we've got some absolutely gorgeous views behind us here and the runners all snaking their way up the hill there. Amazing. This is what we're here for. This is what you come to these places for. to the top of the first climb. <laughs> Just want to get this done. Thank you. Right, first checkpoint at uh, 15 and a half K, 10 miles nearly. It had been the perfect start. Windy but dry, a nice easy first climb on very comfortable terrain. It wasn't going to last.
Right, we're about 21 kilometers into the UTS 50K and um, we're at the top of, now I've already forgotten it, we're at the top of Minith Mower, which is about 700 meters above sea level. We've done that in three hours 41. Hello, Melissa. Okay. How's it going? Good. Yeah, they're doing lattes up here. Ice cream if you want it. Have you pushed my wife off a cliff? So she bloody well is, isn't she? Unbelievable. She'll talk to anyone. All right, top of the second climb. Oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> Come on. So we're just descending down to the second aid station now. So we'll be coming up on 25K, halfway. But we've got to go down this lovely ridge first. This chap, James, managed to climb over this stile, slip off and land on his arm. But you're all right, Neil? I'm all right, I'm yeah. all right. Onwards and uh, downwards. What was that hill all about? <laughs> Right, we are 24 kilometres into the uh, UTS 50k and uh, it's not been without its uh, mud, as you can see here. Whoever marked this course was having a laugh. <laughs> You're loving it and you know it. I see you've given up on trying to keep your feet dry now. Right, second checkpoint. This is halfway now, so uh, four and a half hours, so we're still on for between 10 and 12, but we've got the hardest bit to come now. Minith Mauer had been far more demanding, both up and down, with very steep gradients, lots of mud and deep bogs. Things were beginning to get interesting. We've got to go up Snowdon twice now. Yeah, we've got, we go Snowdon to the summit, and then we come down and then we go Snowdon just up to the Standing Stone, which isn't quite to the summit. And then it's down the Lamberis path to the finish. But we're enjoying it, aren't we Vic? Do you know, we are. <laughs> it's flipping hard work, but I'm really enjoying it. We've got 1.3 kilometres left to get to the summit of Snowdon. You might just be able to see the summit of Snowdon in the distance there. It is, it is just shrouded by cloud, but it's, it's just about visible. Victoria is absolutely shattered, but we only have 1,000 metres left of climbing in the entire race and about 20k to go. So we're on the top of Snowden. Victoria's just uh, sorting a few things out and then we're gonna make our way down. And this is where the UTS 50K became something really special. Climbing down the notoriously difficult Watkin path demands your full concentration and then scrambling along the superb ridge and up the rocks and boulders to climb to the summit of Ichluith is as exciting as it is exhilarating. This section at 20 miles in is what sky running and mountain racing is all about. If you're looking to get into mountain racing, this would be a perfect introduction. We were absolutely buzzing after this. So we're on top of Beth Ruin. So do you remember we were on top of Snowdon over there about an hour or so ago? And I saw that beautiful ridge. So we climbed all the way along that beautiful ridge. And we've made it to the top of this summit, so we've got one more summit to do 
downhill to get to the A station, 4K, and then back up Snowdon, uh, and then down the Flamboris path to the finish. Spectacular, isn't it? Absolutely amazing views. Love it. So we've had this hilarious section to scramble down on our bums, which has barrel been great. Laughs, the barrel of laughs section. Barrel of laughs section. Yeah, how we laughed on the way down. So we've just finished the descent from Snowdon. Beautiful sunshine on the lake there. And we've got about a kilometre to go until we get to the aid station. 37 kilometres in seven hours, 55 minutes. So just shy of eight hours. really tired now we're, we're looking for this final aid station which I thought was about 38 kilometers well we're now at 38 and a half and there's no sign of it anywhere okay so that is Penny Pass aid station it's the final aid station at about 39 kilometers so uh, all we need to do now is head up the pig track Victoria is incredibly tired, but she's ahead of me at the moment. She's just forcing her way up the final climb here. We've got about two kilometers of distance left and about 350 meters of climbing left to do before we reach the top. So Dan, we've noticed on the way up this final climb, he like speeds past us and then we'll see him sitting down and then we'll speed past him and he says, I'm just having a rest. And then five minutes later, he sped past us again. How many times have you done it so far? Four or five. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we are nearly there. Well done, well done, Dan. Keep it going. We are in the final section of the pig track now. Eventually, after nine hours and 55 minutes, we made it to the top of the pig track and started our descent into Llanberis. So 44 kilometers done, just seven to go down the hill. So near the end now, lovely little forest at the end and the bridge and the stream. And the stove was very good. Cheers. Hello, buddy. Thank you. Just like that, our UTS 50K was over. It had taken us 11 hours and 16 minutes to travel the 52 kilometers and climb over 3000 meters of elevation gain. And now Victoria has her two UTMB running stones and is a bona fide ultra mountain runner. bumped into on the, the path, Mark Derbyshire, so uh, record holder for the um, Arc of Attrition, record holder for Lakeland 100 and was in the lead of the 100 mile race here yesterday when it was abandoned. Are you feeling alright though? Feel good, yeah. Are you disappointed uh, about the 100? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not disappointed, more sort of a little bit frustrated. Isn't it? You put a lot of, put a lot of mental effort and 
into training. It, training into it, and then it was going well. Yeah. One of those things. What's next? UTMB's next. So. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We should get. To, we should. Um...